Welcome to a journey like no other, a dive into a world where the unthinkable becomes a possibility. Imagine a world at its brink, land overcrowded, resources dwindling, conflicts escalating, mankind looking for an escape. But what if that escape is not into the cosmos, but rather into the unexplored depths of our own planet? Imagine, for a moment, a future where humans have found a new frontier, not in outer space, but under the surface of the sea. Over 70% of our planet is covered by water, a vast expanse that remains largely unexplored and untapped. With land becoming increasingly overpopulated and resources rapidly depleting, turning to the oceans isn't as far-fetched as it might seem. It might be our best shot at survival, or perhaps, it might be our next step in evolution. The idea of humans living under the sea conjures up images of futuristic habitats, dazzling underwater cities, and a life closely entwined with marine ecosystems. But how close are we to such a reality? And what would it take to achieve this? Living underwater could have profound effects on our physiology. For starters, the pressure at deep sea levels could affect our circulatory system. Plus, a limited exposure to sunlight could potentially lead to vitamin D deficiency. We might need to make considerable modifications to our diet or develop supplements that can replace the essential nutrients we typically receive from sunlight. It's possible that we might be able to simulate these environments underwater, creating artificial landscapes and weather systems to keep residents comfortable and mentally healthy. But there's also another, more astonishing possibility. As we adapt to this new life, could our bodies undergo evolutionary changes over time? It might sound far-fetched, but consider how humans have evolved to adapt to different environments on land over millions of years. In a radical shift, could we see the rise of a new aquatically adapted human species, developing physical characteristics to facilitate underwater living, such as webbed hands for swimming or better vision in low-light conditions? This perspective isn't just science fiction. It's a legitimate query in the realm of evolutionary biology. Creating an underwater habitat is a marvel that requires careful consideration of many factors. Pressure is a significant issue to overcome. With every 10 meters of water depth, the pressure increases by about one atmosphere. Creating sustainable, pressure-resistant habitats would be an engineering challenge unlike any we faced before. Picture this, skyscraper-like structures, not piercing the clouds, but reaching down into the fathoms of the deep. Not merely buildings, but integrated, thriving communities equipped with amenities and comforts rivaling any city on the surface. To be more self-sufficient, these habitats would need cutting-edge recycling technologies for managing air and waste, perhaps even innovations we have yet to conceive. Futuristic underwater cities may encompass technologies like 3D printing to construct homes and infrastructure directly from materials found on the seafloor. Research into transparent aluminum, a material straight out of science fiction, could provide us with safe, durable, and clear structures, creating a literal window into the marine world. Then comes the challenge of powering these civilizations. Solar power, our go-to renewable energy source on land, would be largely ineffective in the ocean's dark depths. The tides and currents of the ocean, however, contain an enormous amount of untapped energy. Envision vast farms of tidal turbines, quietly generating power from the ceaseless motion of the sea. Similarly, geothermal vents scattered across the ocean floor could serve as natural, undersea power plants, their heat converted into electricity by thermoelectric generators. The sea current sets the rotor into motion, and the turbine begins to supply electricity with a generation pattern following the tides. Even the concept of time must be reconsidered. We're all accustomed to the 24-hour cycle that governs our life on the surface. But underwater, where sunlight cannot penetrate, this concept would become irrelevant. We would need to rethink our understanding of time. 
perhaps synchronizing our routines with the cycles of marine life or using artificial means to replicate a day-night cycle. This shift could lead to significant changes in our sleep patterns, productivity, and even our culture. In terms of communication, we might have to develop a new form of internet for underwater use. Traditional Wi-Fi is ineffective underwater. Therefore, a system that relies on sonar or visible light communication could be the future of underwater internet, creating a global network beneath the waves. Cuisine too would have to undergo a transformation. As agriculture as we know it would be impossible underwater, we'd have to develop novel ways to source our food. So we're growing food, we're growing shellfish and seaweed, but while also capturing carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus. Perhaps we'd see the rise of mariculture, the cultivation of marine organisms for food and other resources on an unprecedented scale. Or perhaps we engineer nutritious algae to be grown in efficient vertical farms. However, one thing we must ask ourselves is this. Are we ready to face the ethical questions this presents? For instance, what happens to our relationship with the surface world? Will there be an inevitable divide between the land dwellers and the sea dwellers? Could we face a situation where those who can afford it move underwater to escape the worsening conditions on the surface? Our species history is marked by our ability to overcome obstacles and push boundaries. Even as we face these formidable challenges, it's worth remembering how far we've come. From mastering fire to exploring space, we have continually redefined the limits of the possible. Indeed, while these challenges may seem insurmountable now, it's worth considering how quickly our understanding and technology are evolving. We are in an age where AI and machine learning are revolutionizing research and development, where advanced material science is creating substances with properties that seem to defy the laws of nature, and where biotechnology is unlocking the secrets of life itself. Then there's the staggering potential for scientific discovery. A civilization beneath the waves would grant us unprecedented access to the ocean's depths, a region still largely unexplored. Imagine the wealth of new species we could discover, the geological mysteries we could solve, and the new perspectives we could gain on life's adaptability. It could also serve as a training ground for extraterrestrial colonization, teaching us how to live in isolated, self-sustaining communities in extreme environments. Clearly, the challenges to realizing this dream are significant, but consider how far we've come in just a few short centuries. Our journey has taken us from candlelight to LED, horse-drawn carriages to electric vehicles, handwritten letters to instant messaging. We have split the atom, cracked the human genome, and sent robots to Mars. Is it so impossible to imagine that, one day, we might also call the ocean our home? So, here we are, on the cusp of what could be the next great leap in human history. From seasteading initiatives to the development of underwater habitats, the wheels are already in motion. Our survival, our curiosity, and our relentless drive for exploration could very well lead us to a future where we humans could live under the sea. And with the rapid advancements in technology and our understanding of the ocean, who knows? That future may be closer than we think. So as always, stay curious, keep exploring, and let's dive into the unknown together.